Hi, I'm Steve Bayshore, uh, Miller here at Mount Vernon. And we're here at George Washington's grist mill, and let's go inside and see how this mill operates. We're inside the grist mill now, and we're standing on the stone floor. On this location are two sets of mill stones, one right here to grind corn, which was the main crop that fed Mount Vernon, and uh, they're all driven by a large water wheel behind me. You may hear the water running right now. Uh, the top stone inside here rotates, and the corn that we grind starts off in the hopper and will feed down into the stone. What you cannot see is there's another millstone below the upper one. The bottom stone is fixed and stationary, and between these two stones, the grain will be ground into meal. Now, when these stones are running, the top stone rotates, the bottom stone is stationary, and you'd never want your two stones to touch. If they rub together, you'll get millstone in your flour. So down below is a large compound lever that allows the miller to raise or lower the top stone as the mill's working, and therefore we can control how coarse or fine our cornmeal is. On the other side of the stone floor is a matching set, per se, another set of large millstones. These stones here ground wheat. Wheat was Washington's cash crop. It's the reason he built this grist mill, and this is going to make him profits on various markets overseas. They operate basically the same with a large top stone rotating over a stationary bottom stone. The difference here is these stones are imported from France. They're known as French fir stones, the highest quality millstone money could buy. George Washington purchased these in 1771. Of course, George Washington built this mill on this particular farm at Mount Vernon because there was a creek here, Dog Run Creek. He dammed up that creek, created a large pond which fed water down a mill race to run this 16-foot water wheel. This is the muscle and the power of the grist mill. Without this wheel, nothing in here will work. We're down below on the gear floor right now, and as you can see, there's large wooden gears behind me. The water wheel powers these gears to drive the millstones and other machinery in the mill, but the mill's off right now. And to turn it on, we have to open some gates, and we also have to lift the millstone. But that stone weighs so much, I'm going to use this long compound lever, which allows me to raise or lower that top stone. So that helps me get the mill started, but also helps me set the distance between the stones for the proper grind. And right here is another control lever that works the gate on the flume, releasing water into the mill. If you've never seen a real mill in operation, please come to Mount Vernon and see George Washington's grist mill operate, grinding grain. It's a unique experience, one that you'll never forget.